Hey guys, Rage Rappers here, and welcome back to episode 9 of my Python 3 series. So in this episode, we're going to go over arrays. So basically, an array allows you to store multiple values in one variable. So to create an array, you first need to think of a name for your array. So we're going to create an array that stores a list of names. So we're just going to call our array name. And then once you've typed out the name of your array, you then want to press space, then equals, then space and then an open square bracket and a closed square bracket. Now inside these square brackets is where you type the values that you want to store in the array, and you need to separate each value in your array with a comma. So for example, if we store the name Steve, and then we separate that, and then we store the name Barry, and then we store the name Jim, and then we store the name Paul. Now at the minute we have four names in our array, so if we come down two lines and we create a print statement and we print out the name array, like so, if we save the code and we run it, as you can see at the minute it prints out the whole array. Now what about if you just want to print out a single name? Well to do that we will use the index numbers that Python assigns to each value in the array. So the way the index numbers work in arrays is it starts at zero, with the first value and then it increases by one for each value. So in the case of our array, Steve is in position zero, Barry is in position one, Jim is in position two, and Paul is in position three. So if we want to print out Jim, then we would add to the end of the name in the print statement some square brackets. Then inside these square brackets, we would put the index number of the value that we want to print. So if we wanted to print Jim, we would look at the array and we would go, okay, the first position is 0, then 1, and then 2. So we're going to put 2 in these square brackets to print out Jim. So if we save this code and we run it, as you can see, it prints out Jim. Now if we change the number in the square brackets to 3, then that should print out Paul, like so. And then if we change the number in the square brackets to 1, then that should print out Barry like so, and then if we change a number in the square brackets to zero, then that will print out Steve, like so. So hopefully you understand the way that Python orders the index numbers. So just to reiterate, it starts at zero, and then it just increases by one for each value in the array. Now what do you do if you want to change the value in an array? Well, to do that, it's just like creating a variable so if we want to change one of the names in the name array, say we want to change Jim to Phil, then we would type out the name of the array, so name, and then we would add the square brackets on the end, and inside these square brackets we would specify the index number of the value. So with Jim, the index value is 2 because it goes 0, 1, 2, so we're going to put 2. We're then going to say that's equal, and then we will make that equal to Phil, and then if we come down a few lines and we print out the whole array, so if we save the code and we run it, as you can see, the name in the array has now changed to fill. So if we just print out the array before we make the change, you will then be able to see what has been changed in the array if you haven't noticed already. So as you can see, Python comes in and it sees, okay, we're creating an array. So it creates the array and it puts all of the names in it. Then it prints out the name in position 0, which is Steve. And then it sees this next print statement, which is just print out the whole array. So it prints out the whole array. And then it gets to this line here. And it sees, OK, we want to change the value in the name array in the index position 2 to fill. And so it does that. And then when it gets to this line here, it prints out the whole array again. So then you can see it changes the name Jim to fill. So guys, that's going to be the end of the video. If you liked it, don't forget to hit the like button. If you disliked it, hit the dislike button. Subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you another time. Bye.